What's up you guys, it's Erin. If you're new here, welcome back. Today I just want to get right into it because I have a lot of products to talk to you about. We're talking all about sunscreens today. I am an SPF junkie. I am a freak about wearing sunscreen every day. And this year I've been really trying more sunscreens than ever. There's better and better formulas coming out. So I wanted to do a roundup of all the products I've tried in the last year or two tell you my thoughts and give you my favorites. It'll be kind of one of my best and worst videos. Not necessarily a ranking because that's just way too hard for me to rank, but I will tell you what I prefer in a sunscreen and um, what my thoughts are on the ones I've tried. So without further ado, let's just get into it. I'll start off by saying that I am not going to get too deep into the formulas and the way sunscreen works um, because for one I'm not an expert and I don't want to get it wrong but I will tell you that there's a difference between chemical SPF filters and physical or mineral. Mineral is a physical block from the sun and that's usually zinc oxide or I believe titanium dioxide. I prefer mineral because it doesn't give you that stinging sensation. It's better for the environment. It's more of a naturally occurring sunscreen. But the issue with them is that they can have more of that white cast. Um, they can be a little drier and harder to rub in. But for me, I would just rather have the physical filter from the sun. Chemical sunscreens are where you get all the other long names. I don't have an issue with chemical sunscreen as long as they don't bother my skin but overall most of the formulas I have here are mineral or at least partially mineral um, which I think is the way a lot of sunscreens are going but we'll get into that. Let's start with my only chemical only sunscreen. So chemical sunscreens tend to be a little bit nicer in texture but they can give you that like eye stinging kind of skin irritation sensation sometimes which I don't love. This one for, by Supergroup, it's all rubbed off because this is one of my older sunscreens that's almost gone. This is the Unseen Sunscreen, if I didn't mention that, SPF 40. Active ingredients in this are Avil Benzone, Homosalate, Octisalate, and Octocrylene. So there's a lot of different ingredients in here. I'm going to post an Instagram picture where I swatch all of these, but I just want to give you an idea of what this texture is like. It's a super clear, very silicone. It's, it feels like the old school Smashbox silicone primer, if you remember that. It's very silky and slippy feeling. It gives you a little bit of that pore filling sensation. Um, I really, this for the longest time was my favorite sunscreen under makeup. And I really do like it, but I will say that it's very, very slippy because it is that silicone texture. Um, so if you don't like that kind of primer, you're not going to like this type of sunscreen. It wears beautifully under makeup, but I do think it can slip around a little bit. And in general, I don't use those super silicone-y primers. I use the more grippy, like pore filling, like the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Those are the kind of pore filling primers I use. Um, but I do think this wears well but to get good coverage from sunscreen you need to use like a fourth is it a fourth of a teaspoon amount a good amount of sunscreen way more than like foundation you would use and that's a lot of this type of texture um, and it just can get a little slippy so I do like this one but I'm curious to try other formulas by Supergoop I haven't tried their glow screen um, Supergoop play I want to try there's just so many SPS I want to try that usually when I finish one I'm just like on to the next formula because I want to test out as many as possible. I'm going to go in order I guess from the ones I've had the longest and then we'll get to my newer SPFs I think is the way I'm going to go about it. So the next is from Australian Gold. It's their Botanical Sunscreen Face Broad Spectrum SPF 50, 50 and this is a mineral sunscreen. I believe I bought this because it was either before our honeymoon in Costa Rica or for Hawaii. I wanted to be sure that I had reef safe sunscreen um, and I had heard really good things about this one. Um, Hawaii is actually really strict on their sunscreens and when we went on a boat, like a whale watching tour where we were snorkeling, they provided um, mineral sunscreen and people were still spraying on copper tone which like drove me crazy because it's terrible for the reef. So uh, make sure you have, if you're going in the ocean, reef safe sunscreen. Anyway. I have like a blush swatch on my finger from doing my makeup. I better get that off. 
so this one is tinted or it looks I'm like I've used a lot of this um, it is tinted as you can see but it's it really doesn't leave a tint or any coverage on the skin I really really like this for a long time and I've used up a lot of this really big bottle uh, and I still really like it for no makeup makeup days but like that typical um, mineral formula it just can leave it feels moisturizing at first but it can leave like a dry kind of layer behind and I find that with many mineral formulas I've tried they feel really nice and moisturizing at first and then once they dry down they kind of leave this dried out I'm just smear lipstick did I <laughs> they leave this dried out kind of layer to the skin which emphasizes dry skin that I didn't even know was there so when I look for a really good mineral formula, I look for ones that don't do that um, and that I'm, I want to wear under makeup because like this, I wouldn't wear under makeup because it's too drying. I still like this for no makeup makeup days, but I have found mineral sunscreens that I like better. But if you're looking for like a beach affordable mineral sunscreen option, I think this is a good one. Next, we have one from MD Solar Sciences that I've had for a really long time. This is their uh, SPF 50 mineral cream. I really think... MD Solar Sciences makes some great sunscreens. This was also one of the first mineral SPFs I've tried. This one does not have a tint, as you can see there. It has that typical thick kind of mineral formula. Um, this one takes a second to rub in. I'm curious, you know, if this would leave a white cast on deeper skin tones. It's very silky feeling, but again, it kind of leaves a little bit of that dryness behind. Um, probably in a similar, on a similar level to the Australian Gold. I reached for this for a long time, but I actually gave this one to my husband to try to get him to wear SPF more because I just didn't find myself reaching for it a lot. I like it, but I've just found other sunscreens that I was preferring over this one. And I, again, I don't love it under makeup because it just gives that little bit of a drying sensation to the skin so yeah m no makeup beach day great but same as the Australian gold I will not wear this under makeup now we're getting to more of my favorites so next we have the color science unforgettable total protection face shield in the glow version I believe there's three versions of this there's like a glow a bronze and a, an original this has a really I should mention this was sent to me uh, for review through the Octoly app. This comes with a nice applicator here. And this is a glowy liquidy sunscreen, if you can see that there. This is what, like, the amount of glow this gives is similar to what I would imagine that the um, Super Goop Glow Screen would give. This is a beautiful moisturizing texture, except especially because this is, I believe, an all mineral formula. Yeah, chemical free sunscreen. Um, this is all 12% zinc oxide. So especially for a mineral formula, it feels very, very moisturizing and um, really, really glowy. I actually don't like to wear this on my own if I'm not, on its own if I'm not wearing makeup because it's so glowy. It leaves like a pearlescence behind and it can make me look a little crazy if I'm not wearing at least a little bit of makeup over it. But it is beautiful on the skin. It does emphasize my dry texture just ever so slightly but I don't know if I've ever used a mineral sunscreen that doesn't do that at least a little bit and once I apply makeup over it I don't even notice it. I really love this sunscreen and I really want to try more from Color Science. I think they have some great formulas. I should have mentioned I also have their like under eye concealer sunscreen and I love that one as well. It's the uh, Total Protection Eye I think it's called and I love that one as well. So let's talk about another one that I love. It's the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen Zinc, Os Zinc Oxide Broad Spectrum SPF 32. This, if you can see it here, is a wonderful SPF formula. This is 22.5% zinc oxide. It is thicker in texture and it, it looks like it has a tint ever so slightly. It's not white. Um, but this just blends into the skin so nicely and it has like a slight vanilla scent. It's really thick but feels nourishing on the skin. It wears beautifully under makeup or on its own. This is just like a great everyday 
sunscreen for any purpose. I can wear it in the beginning of the day, then I can put makeup on later. It looks beautiful on the skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. I actually have a backup of this that they kindly sent over. I did buy this one. But this is one that when my friends ask for an SPF, this is one I recommend because I know that everyone will like this one. And um, yeah, it's just really nice. It gives me a tiny bit of that texture emphasizing, but very, very minimal. Next, I'm talking about the Dr. Dennis Gross All Physical Lightweight Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30, another all mineral formula. This is one that they came out with in the last few months, if you can see it here. I was also sent this for review through Octoly. I fell in love with this sunscreen hard. It's an all physical sunscreen and it reminds me of the Kinship, but the thing I like about this one is that it's a little bit thinner and the formula of this just feels like a lotion. I I don't get any of that texture emphasize, emphasization. I don't think that's a word. Uh, but it doesn't emphasize my texture at all. Like when I put this on, I had to look at the bottle and be like, there's no way this is a mineral sunscreen. It just, it has such an amazing, like groundbreaking formula. I'm like halfway through this bottle and I will definitely repurchase when it's over, uh, when it's over, when it's out. I absolutely love this. The texture is amazing. It's just like nothing I've ever used before and yeah, I just love it. I love the applicator and the yellow bottle and yeah, I, I really, really recommend this one. I just think there's nothing out there like it. So lightweight and moisturizing and I highly recommend this one as well. Lastly, I'm talking about my two newest SPFs. These are from the brand Dermatology. They're a smaller um, indie skincare brand, I wanna say. And they were kind enough to send me, um, I believe they repackaged and then came out with one new SPF. They are both, their tinted moisturizers. One is the Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46, which they have had, which is a mix of mineral and chemical filters. And then they have their all new physical tinted moisturizer SPF 44. So these are both very slightly tinted and really, really similar in tint. I'll show you here. So here is the universal, which is the chemical and mineral filter. And then here is the all physical. So you can see this one has a little bit more of a peachy undertone, but I don't, I don't notice a difference when I apply it. I have raved about these on my Instagram, but I love both of these. The one I've been actually using the most is the Universal Tinted Moisturizer, just because this has both types of filters. You really get that moisturizer feel. A lot of times I'll put on serum and then I'll skip moisturizer since it's summer and humid. I feel like I get enough moisture from this. It gives me a beautiful glow and it just, it looks so gorgeous under makeup. I actually really, really enjoy the physical version as well. Um, but it's just, as you can see, it just, it, it takes a second longer to rub in because it is mineral. You get a little more of that cast. Um, but this one also looks gorgeous under makeup. It barely emphasizes any texture. And I love that it's all mineral. Um, this one is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So yeah, they have a lot of amazing skincare. I'm really looking forward to trying, but I highly recommend both of these formulas. I forgot, I have one more. I also have been testing out the Dr. Brandt Liquid Sun Shield, which is a daily brightening mineral sunscreen, SPF 50. This came in as Sephora favorites, like it was like a sun favorites or an S vacation favorite set. This, the packaging of this is interesting. It comes with a dropper and then it's very liquidy, as you can see there. And this is really nice, but I feel like since it's so thin, you have to get quite a lot out of the dropper to get it to rub in. Um, I feel like I have to get like three or four droppers worth to get enough for my face because it's so thin, but I will say the texture of this is really nice. It blends in easily, it's not drying. Um, it doesn't leave a white cast, at least on me. I'm really impressed by this. So a lot, a lot of sunscreen wins this you know, summer, the last few months. I've just been impressed with every new sunscreen I've tried. So editing Aaron here. I've never done this before, but I realized I totally forgot two sunscreens. I forgot to talk about them completely. And I know why it's because they were actually in my bin of products that didn't work for me. Um, I've talked about one before. One is the 
uh, newer Sunday Riley Lighthearted Broad Spectrum 30 sunscreen. And then the other is actually from Ghost Democracy. It's the sunscreen they came out with, their Invisible Lightweight Daily Sunscreen. Sorry for the terrible angle. This is just, but I want to make sure I include these. So I knew both of these didn't work for me right away. They're both really chalky and drying. Um, I will insert swatches in a second, but because I'm like holding this up with my tripod. So the Ghost Democracy was, is really, really white and drying and just chalky on the skin. The Sunday Riley, for being such a high-end brand, is also really chalky. It's more of like a pink-toned sunscreen. It definitely leaves a white cast. It's really drying on the skin, emphasizes dry skin. And the packaging is just, it looks cheap for how expensive the sunscreen is. I did swatch these for you. I won't be able to rub these in because I am like holding this with my hand, but you'll have to take my word for it. So the top is the Ghost Democracy and the bottom is Sunday Riley. You can see it kind of has a pink tint to it. Also the Sunday Riley has this really like cheap screw off packaging and it just spills out everywhere. And it just like, I would expect more from such a high end brand, but yeah, both of these super chalky. Even if you had like combo oily skin, like I'm more dry, I could not, see how these would work because they're so dry so i've heard the same thing about the sunday riley from most uh, people i've seen review it but i haven't heard that from i haven't seen many people review the ghost democracy so i just wanted to make sure i had my opinion on those for you um yeah back to the video I hope this roundup of all the SPFs I've tried is helpful to you and you can find one that you like. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's mineral, chemical, the important thing is that you find one you like because the best SPF is the one you're going to wear. If you get a mineral one and you hate how it looks and you don't wear it, that well then it doesn't matter. So just find a sunscreen that you like, wear it every day. It will make a difference in the aging process. Protect yourself from the sun. Trust me, it matters. And uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comments what's your favorite SPF and what ones I need to try that I didn't mention here. And if you like these best and worst types of videos, let me know what you'd like to see for future videos. I'm currently working on a best like tinted moisturizer type video because I have quite a few of those in my collection and that's like all the rage right now. But I would love to know what else you would like to see. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me and we will see you in my next one. Bye.